All right, what is going on, everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial, as you saw down in the title. This is a 1.6.4 or 1.7.4, even though I am on 1.6, but this does work for 1.7, I'm pretty sure. It's a shop system tutorial, so what you do <coughs> is you get the, uh, you put an item of your choice, put it in the hopper, mix a sound, and you get your TNT, and you get whatever it's going to give to you. So this is like a trading system, but it's an automatic one, and you don't have to have a person here all the time. Uh, just keep on doing that. Get TNT. The bad thing about it is, um, if you put in three at once, like one, two, three, it only gives you one. So it, it, it's only b because the reason is this comparator that checks if there's um, an item, a new item in the bottom hopper. So then it only sends out one tick of a redstone signal. So it doesn't give out TNT based on how many gold that was put in. Only if if there's a new one. So. So there's a new one there. It only gives you one. There are two new ones, but it only gives you one. So it really sucks. That that's the downfall about this one. So I'm going to get rid of all these. Oh, and the reason I had um gold block was because um just to show you that it only works with the item of choice. So as you can see, if I put that there, it won't get like eaten up by the hopper, and it won't even make the sound. So yeah. So right now I'm going to teach you. Um, I'm going to get rid of all this shop because this is usually what you would have like you would have a shop right and then you'd have the whack wall where you have your hopper and also added like a little light there so that if you as you saw if you if you did see <clears throat> it lit up as you can see it lights up and then it gives you the item and it makes that little note block sound so right now I'm going to reveal the redstone and then after that I'm going to teach you how to make it step by step all right, guys. So here is all the redstone right here. Um, by the way, um, yeah, I am on 1.6. Sorry, I already told you that um, at the start. But here is all the redstone. As you can see, it's really simple. Um, this thing right here is just optional, but without it, it would only be two, one, two, two by four. I guess you could say. Actually, no, because there's some more hoppers right in in this wall, so it would be two by five. But since I added this thing, which only three hoppers it made it three by five but still it's pretty really compact and you can easily hide this by just by doing that doing that and then doing that and then adding a roof and stuff um you can actually add as much hoppers as you want or you can as little hoppers as you want i just added this because there's this dropper here that needs to get that is automatically refilled so yeah but actually no i, I don't need these anymore so yeah it's only two by five no, well three by five if you count the snow block so yeah it's still pretty it's still pretty compact so that was all the redstone here and now i'm going to go over here and make it for you so what i want, want to do is i first add three uh actually start with four and then go out make a little four by five opening and then dig it four by five by two. So that means it's too deep. Like that, like so, you don't even need, by the end of this, you won't even need this much. So, dude, it looks like a rectangle. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I made it five. Yeah, it's um, four by five right there. Then what you wanna do is find um, this one right here, it's the, when you're facing like where your shop's gonna be, it's the second to the left. Add a block there, add a hopper there, and add a hopper on top. And then you can go ahead and add another block there and break the one under the hopper. And you just, you just did that because you needed the hopper, like this little tail or whatever, to be facing down. Because if you had to place it down, you do that and it would be facing the wall. You can't have that, so you need to make it face down. So you add two hoppers, so then when you're, this, let's say this is like the wall of the shop, right? This is the wall of the shop. You want to make it so that the hopper is, the, the bottom hopper is flush with the floor and the top hopper is, you can see it. It's only one above the floor. So now you have this and these are all the things you need. Um, yeah, basically most of the redstone um, basic components. And you need a dropper, not a dispenser, a dropper. Because a dispenser would drop the item into the world, but a dropper would drop the item into this hopper. Which you saw at the start. All right, so now you need to add a comparator there. You don't need to click it, just leave it like that. Um, 
and then add a little go one up and then one back down but break that one so it kind of looks like that and then add a, another comparator there all right and then you need to add one sandstone the uh, one block or the block of your choice there and then one up up and then right so you can do that and then break the bottom if you don't have this little back wall and then you just add two uh one redstone coming out of the comparator one redstone torch um facing the the, the back wall facing the hoppers you could say and but beside the comparator and then one redstone up on this block which the torch is on so then that will make it so that when um let me explain this to you if you don't get this redstone if you're just building it like block by block and you're not, even, you're not really getting it i'll explain to you because there will be um the payment thing which i'll use golding it's the, there will be golding it's inside this hopper which this computer will you know find out because that's what comparator does and that uh, puts a signal if there's something in here i put a signal from here which will only i put one signal but then when you once you add another block like let's say you pay the golding it this one will get powered because def by default this will not get powered so then when you, once you add your payment this will get powered which will turn off this thing which will do the rest so um, we're not done yet actually so now put two blocks protruding out from the redstone torch but break the first block so it looks like that put a redstone repeater there and then the same thing as we did here you go up and then down so like like a staircase come like that and then what you do is put a one dot of redstone there right beside the bottom hopper and then a redstone torch and then a, a block above it for if you want to add like the the little redstone lamp for it lights up because then this torch will light up and then you can do all sorts of stuff and the reason we had redstone on top of here it's because for one we need to unpower that and two we can add a note block here i'm just gonna do that so it makes like a, a nice sound right there I can turn up my sound all right all right and then need a redstone lamp um, also and the dropper now where that comes in you you can um, click on the left left side of the torch when you're facing the redstone and you're face in your right in front of the hopper so then you put it you click right there so then the hopper will be uh, the dropper sorry as you can see that's, that's where the hole is it will fade the dropper is facing that way just make it facing that way if you want you can add like a, a block there and then do that and then now the items that you will have that you will get when someone puts the stuff like the payment will go into this hopper all right so basically you're done everything not everything but most of the stuff so um now you can add hoppers ear out there so that you don't need to keep on refilling and what i did was i, I put tnt and ing ingots gold ingots so what you do is you pay gold ingots to get some tnt right that's what i had before and that's what i will keep it as so to put like the payment you, you need to put like the payment or what they will pay into the bottom hopper and put one ingot in each slot but but the most left one you need to put 18 in there. And I know this is 18 because I have left of 42. I'll, or, you know, I, I, I've done this before, so I know what how many gold ingots you'll have left. So I have 18 right there. So it should look like that. The hopper should look like 18, then 1, 1, 1, 1. Golding it. And then I, I always keep on forgetting this part. You, this is probably the most important part. Not the most important, because if you don't add this, it, it won't work it will only work one time you need to add a chest right under the bottom hopper but as you can see um the hopper the gold ingots are not going into the chest usually it would be it's because um it's getting this hopper is getting powered by something and that means it will not um you know, it's getting powered by this redstone um redstone dust so that it will not you know the hopper will not give out any things that's basically what this thing i think is only for all right so right now the reason i had these um things as i said before is so that um i don't need to keep on refilling the, the dropper here which i'll do that right now all right so then basically that's it now i'm going to add the lamp here and once and as you can see uh, i'm gonna put the as you can see you can see the lamp there put the gold ingot 
lights up, makes it sound, and you get your TNT. So that's basically it. So actually, you do not need to make it um, four by five. You only need to make it three by five because this no block here is going out. So now you can add your wall. I like to add the wall here, so right beside the hopper. But make sure to keep a little um, hold there so you can see the lamp light up. The lamp and the sound is just mainly for like a for show for for um, extra. You know, it's not it's not essential to make the thing work. It just like adds a little sign like oh it lights up then you paid correctly and the noise you know you paid correctly. So this is um, what you would usually have um, if you like. Let's say you have the shop here. These are the walls, right? And then you'd have the door. It's basically like this shop right here. So as you can see, they're pretty similar. Um, you can even add a sign up here, like saying, like th this. I have like an a lot always an instruction. So I like having place gold gold ingots in hopper, then get TNT from from hopper so that's what i always have so then they know what it is but this tutorial was to you know teach you how to build everything and stuff so let me show you one more time put one gold ingot in there you get your tnt all right and you can also make the dropper a dispenser so that the tnt um like jumps out into the world but i don't like that because it, it can get stuck and it might glitch out and you might not even get it if it like glitched into the wall or something so this is always you'll always get it it'll just be in the hopper you just right click and get the tnt but as i said the bad thing about this i said earlier was that if you put like two gold ingots you do not get two tnt you only get one because as i explained mm -hmm. earlier it only uh, puts a signal to make the dropper put the tnt in the hopper when there's a new gold ingot or a new item of your choice item payment of your choice um in the bottom hopper so and by the way to get all your payments you just, it's in that bottom chest so you might need to find a way to go to that bottom chest by by like doing that or something like make a ladder and like a trap door so that not uh, other people can't go in and then you get all your payments like right there into that chest um yeah it's basically it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you guys can implement this into any world you have any servers because i think this is a really really cool little automatic trading system and it's really it works perfectly almost basically 100 percent of the time if you do everything right so but ex well not 100 percent because as if you put two you don't get two or tnt but that's just one flaw um if you guys um know any other redstone thing because i like i love doing these redstone tutorials i think they're really clever if you have any questions or concerns ask me or if you want to play with me um add me on skype um my skype name is justin 11 and that's basically it guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace out